Tell me if you if this has happened to you. iMovie starts to slow down. It starts taking a lot of time for iMovie to load your projects. And in some cases, extreme cases, you can't even import any more media into iMovie. It'll say, sorry, can't help you no more, or the timeline will go black or something worse will happen. Chances are you're probably editing or still editing all of your iMovie projects in the default library that comes in the movie folder. You have to kind of understand how iMovie handles your projects. So iMovie has one library, as we mentioned, and it's a great system because all of your media is in one place. You don't have to worry about your media like you do in other editing applications. That's great. But for me, the iMovie library is a blessing and a curse. And it's a curse because everything's stored in one file. So here's here's the iMovie library. Now you can see it's just a file, but if you right click or control click on it, go to show package contents. Now you're inside of it and you can see all these folders. So you've got all your events and inside of your events, you've got various files, you've got your media here. So here's all your media files. And so, you know, all your various events, you have your media, transcoded media, all kinds of files, graphics. You also have your project files, which are a whole bunch of other things like re render files and all kinds of stuff. And some of them can even actually have media files too, depending on how you're editing. So the point is, is all the material, all the, the video clips, the audio clips, the graphics is stored in one place and that place can get really big. And so eventually, as you can imagine, as you start editing more and more, that library file is going to get huge. And then eventually your Mac is going to say, uh, sorry, this file is too big. I can't even load this anymore without jeopardizing all the other operations on the Mac. That situation oftentimes leads to iMovie taking a long time to load it freezing or stalling, or you can't even import any more media. The other thing too, when you're editing into the one library, you have all your clips in there. And if you're like me, oftentimes you have to go find a clip or a piece of media from another project that you worked on and use it in the current project that you're working on. And you got to try to sift through a big list of media clips to find it. It's a real pain. And again, takes up more time and energy, which makes the editing process more tedious than it needs to be. So I'm going to show you a way to manage your iMovie projects that will save you drive space, help iMovie run faster and help you stay better organized so you can edit faster because that's what we want to do. The simple solution for organizing your iMovie work for every video that you're going to be making in iMovie, create a separate library. I think the reason people don't do that is because when we, we think of the term library, we think of like a collection of everything. We put everything together in a library. Well, it's a library, so everything must go in the library. So I must edit all of my videos in that library that is in the movie folder that iMovie has set up. How I like to think of iMovie's filing system that helps me sort of get my head around this concept and helps me better organize my projects. A library to me is equal to a project. An event is equal to a folder. And a project in iMovie to me is a timeline. When I think of it this way, it's so much easier to understand what's going on in iMovie and to organize my projects. In iMovie, it's very simple to create a new library. And you can do this without going into iMovie. And this is a really good trick because a lot of times if iMovie is stalled or it won't open, because what it does is it opens the last library that it used. And if that library is huge, then it's not gonna open. So you're, well, how do I create a library if I can't open iMovie? Real quick way, hold down your option key and then just click on the iMovie icon in your dock or even in the applications folder. So if I click that, there we go. So you get this screen that says open library. You have a list of libraries that you, you can open, but here's what you want. You want new. And if you select new to create a new li library, you'll get this dialogue and you can create a new library. So I'll just say Mike's library. Now, where to save it? Best practice is actually to save your iMovie library that you're working on to your internal drive if you have space. It's just more efficient. It's just more optimized for that. When you're finished working, you can just move that to an external drive, your library to an external drive for archiving, for organization, and to get it off the internal drive. Then when you do another project, you create another library and put it on the internal drive and so on and so forth. So I'll leave this in my movies folder, save. 
and then here's my library. And you get this default event that comes with it. And then what I like to do is I like to rename these events because that date doesn't mean anything to me. So to keep things organized, video clips. And then you can create another event by just right clicking or control clicking in the left column here, new event. And then you can say uh, audio and then I'll do another one, right click, control click, and I'll call it graphics. So you can see now the events, as I said, if you saw my little chart there, equivalency chart, I'll just jump right back to it real quick. Events, folders, that's how I look at it. All right, so then what you can do is you just import that content, like your graphics and audio and video clips into the media browser and you can drag, drop, import, boom. Got graphics, put it here in this event. Video clips, put it in this event. That helps you keep your media organized. You know where things are. You know, I called it Mike's library, but if I was editing, I don't know, something on um, geese migration, it's not the top of my head. That's what I would name my library, right? So it's important to name your library, the name of your project, so you can keep things organized. When it comes to actually editing, if I go into projects, here's where I create a timeline, <laughs> right? It says projects here, but if we jump back, project equals timeline. That's how I think of it. So then when we're creating a timeline for our edit, you know, create new movie, and then it creates the timeline. Then what I like to do instantly, I don't start editing yet. I like to go back to the projects, clicking the, the projects button. That brings up the naming dialogue, and then I can name my timeline. And usually what I'll do is say, I, I, I think I called it geese migration. And then what I'll do is I'll put a uh, suffix on it, like edit one, edit 01, or you can do, I don't know, rough cut, whatever, so you know what it is. I'll just say geese migration rough cut. Here are all the different edits. So this is how I suggest you would organize your edits. Like I said, a suffix of 01, rough cut, whatever, to keep everything organized. I highly suggest you make different versions of your edits, of your projects, of your timelines, so that you can go back to previous versions if you need to. What do you do if you already have a giant iMovie library and you, you wanna break it up? Am I stuck with it? No, you can actually break up a giant iMovie library and I'll, sh I'll show you in a moment here. So I've got this giant library here. You can see all these events that are full of content, clips, all kinds of stuff, tons, gigs of things. And this is typically what people have. This library is like 150 gigs. So what do you do in this situation when you have a, a giant library? Well, it's easy. You create a new library and you just move things over and I'll show you how you do that. So let's say I have, I wanna create a new library for this one, great webcam video. So what I'm gonna do is I'll go up here to iMovie and I'll go to file and open library, new. Then it'll give me the dialogue to create a new library and I'll name my library the name of my project here, the name of this event. So I'm gonna call it Great Webcam Video. And I'll put it in my movies file here, my internal drive. So now that I have this library, what do I do? First thing I'll do is I'll move the, the project. So this Great Webcam Library has some has a timeline, great webcam footage. Okay, so that's that's the edit. If I open this up, double click. So that's the edit, let's say, right? There's my, there's my timeline for that project, great webcam footage. And so I wanna move this timeline and the footage for it, the event, into its own library. So the new library we just created. So here's what we do. We go back into projects and you can see this setting up here. So we have media and then you have projects. So this little menu up here displays the different libraries. So right now, these are all the events or all the projects in the Lassie iMovie library. You can look at all your projects. You can look at five most recent and modified. So you have, you have different criteria filters for the libraries that you wanna see. But this is the main, this is the fat library we're working on. This is the new library that I created. 
if I go to that, you can see we don't have anything yet. So here's what we do first. We go back to the library, the big one, and we find the project that we want to move. Now you see these three dots down here beside the name. You click on that, you see we have some choices here. We can play the movie, do all kinds of stuff, but we can also move it to another library. So I'm going to move it to the new library I created, Great Webcam Video. And bu 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 bu. and then it's gone. It's gone from the CI Movie Library. But when I select this menu again, and I go to the Great Webcam Video Library, the new library, there it is. There is the timeline. There's the project in its own library. So what do we do about the, the events and the footage? So we'll go back to media here. And we have our Great Webcam event that contains all of our videos here. Here is the new, up here, the new iMovie library we created. Great webcam video. So all we have to do is we click and drag on the event and put it over that new library. Now, you won't see anything immediately. A little trick here is this little arrow beside the name. Twirl it up, twirl it down, it refreshes. There it is. And now watch when I close this big library and I'll do it by just right clicking, close that library. It's closed. And here is the new library. And this is a separate library now that I can archive and work on and move it around. So that's how you can separate out all those projects and untangle all that media into new libraries. When you're starting a new video project in iMovie, create a separate new library. And as well, keep top of mind when you're working with iMovie, library is a project, an event is a folder, and a project is a timeline. I'll see you in the next video.